today I want to talk about an age-old question, and that is typing or longhand? Now my answer to that is why not typing and longhand? Um, I'm a best of both kind of writer for sure. Um, I think there's this notion that many of us have that writing longhand is a more organic, uh, more um, authentic, more writerly process. Um, and it's true that if you look back over your own handwriting and um, you know all of the, the notes that you've made and the connections that you've made um, on, on paper, um, you've got a record of it. Um, and it is a much more uh, intimate process in that respect. Um, on the other hand, um, I know that um, if you think back on all of the great writers of the past, had they had this technology available to them, uh, if Shakespeare could have written on a laptop, do you think he would have? I think he would have. Um, and it's true that most of us can type a lot faster than we can write, right? So I don't, I don't think it's an either or a proposition. I think you need to uh, experiment and see what works best for you. Uh, for me personally, I like to do my, my pre-writing and my planning. Uh, I, I like that to be a solely longhand process. Um, and then when I've got to the point where I'm ready to, um, I've, got my out, uh, I've got my outline and I'm ready to go, um, I will transition to the laptop and I use a word processing program called Scrivener, um, which I'll talk about in an upcoming episode, um, how it's worlds, worlds, worlds better than, than Word. Um, you don't need, yeah, uh, don't get me started on Word. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you uh, these little composition notebooks that I uh, picked up uh, in Ireland several years ago. Um, on a recent trip to Colombia, well, it was not that recent. It was back in January and February um, of 2012, um, and I'm recording in November. Uh, but anyway, um, I ended up writing uh, a, the bulk of my new novel um, in in these notebooks in in cafes in in Cartagena and elsewhere in Colombia, um, and it was marvelous. It was really, really lovely. Um, to, to feel so connected to my words. Um, and also there's the benefit of no, uh, no internet access, no, no distractions. Uh, so that I think concentrated, uh, concentrated my mind wonderfully. Um, so this is, this is really cool. I really, I really enjoy writing longhand. Um, but as I said, I can type a lot faster than I can write. And so when I get, when I get into it, um, I'm really, really into the typing. Uh, so see what works for you. Um, I, like I said, don't think it needs to be an either or proposition. Um, so my exercise for this time, my suggested exercise is, um, if you could, are mostly, you know, the kind of writer who, um, types up your notes, like from the ver very beginning in a Word document, um, why not try it longhand? Um, you know, loose leaf paper or a notebook, or um, I like to use index cards and also um, uh, Rolodex cards. Um, and I can talk about that in an upcoming episode as well. Um, switch it up. Uh, and if you are someone who writes only in your journal, um, why not try composing on your laptop for, for a change? Um, so, so that's my suggested exercise, uh, five or 10 minutes, 15 minutes, switch it up, uh, see, see how you feel, see how it makes you feel. Um, I think either way can be a really intuitive process. You can feel in the zone either way. Um, so yeah, uh, try that, see how it works. Typing and longhand, not typing or longhand. So thanks for watching.